you brought up the subject of Harlow's MP Robert Halfon in Parliament and you expressed concerns regarding funding. Uh, could you just take us through that again? Well, I was contacted by some human rights activists who told me that British parliamentarians were receiving money from uh, Ukrainian oligarchs. Now, what was actually happening was that uh, somebody who was employed by a Ukrainian oligarch has given £40,000 to the Harlow Conservatives, which is a lot of money. And the man, the oligarch who owns the company, uh, he was arrested in Vienna on corruption charges because um, the FBI were concerned about his activities. So I was thinking, well, what has this money from uh, his chief executive, his associate, got to do with people in Harlow? I can't see any connection. And I think that the Tory party needs to explain where it gets its money from and why it takes money from people, you know, who don't have any connection with local communities. Um, the uh, oligarch doesn't have the right to reply here, but we'll, we'll speak to, to Mr. Halfon. And do you think this is... <coughs> <coughs> Do you think this is an issue that Harlow people should be concerned about? Because I imagine Harlow people are just really concerned about bedroom pack costs of living. What, what, what? It's not really going to impact on the, on the election, is it? Well, I think Harlow people will want to know who pays the piper and who calls the tune, and I think that that is a reasonable question for them to ask themselves. Yeah. I guess it's, I was about to say it's not going to be an easy campaign and people might try and land some punches. In fact, I was over at Brockles Mead uh, lunchtime today with Helen Goodman, the MP for Bishop Auckland, and she was making a point about the contributions and funding made to the Harlow Conservatives yeah. and, and, and to yourself um, regarding Ukrainian oligarchs. Yeah. You've had a little think about it. What's your response to what well, Mrs Goodman is saying? first thing I'd say is I've got great respect for my Labour opponent. And uh, to be honest, I'm amazed um, that um, the Labour Party have decided to go down this path, uh, basically trying to smear. There's been no donations from Ukrainian oligarchs. There's, we've had a, the Hollow Conservatives have had a, a substantial donation over the years from a businessman who has many business interests, who's a British businessman, all declared, registered members' interest, uh, all uh, legal. And uh, he happens to have many businesses. He's made it very, very clear, this particular businessman, that it has nothing to do with a so-called Ukrainian oligarch, who I've never met, I've never, never had anything to do with, uh, never raised any Ukrainian issues in the House of Commons. So it, it's farcical. And if the Labour Party want to go down this road, rather than talk about the big issues uh, facing Harlow, like uh, how, uh, why unemployment has fallen by half, why apprenticeships have gone up by 116%, where we've been able to give a tax cut for uh, 20 million people across the country for lower earners, take 3.7 million uh, lower earners out of income tax altogether. If they don't want to debate the issues and just want to go down this path, I think the electorate, the public, uh, will see, see it for what it is. And it, it comes on a day when um, there's a big thing in the newspapers about a Labour donor who's a hedge fund. Uh, and, the, and Ed Miliband has gone on about not having uh, about conservatives and hedge fund, and they've got their third biggest donor is a hedge fund, and apparently this hedge fund has a business with Russia. So it's such a ludicrous uh, uh, road to go down, and uh, it actually gives me confidence in in a funny sort of way. Because if the Labour Party want to conduct a campaign like this, rather than debate the issues that matter to people in Harlow, like jobs, apprenticeships, cost of living, uh, the NHS, uh, um, then let them do it. But um, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, I'm proud of what we've done. I'm proud that the donations to Harlow Conservatives, we've been able to uh, put out newspapers free of charge to local residents at no cost to the taxpayer. That's what the money is spent on, all British, uh, all donations from British people, and nothing to do with people from overseas. Well,